How do guys, it's Luke uh, from Luke's APS. Um, this is going to be a how-to. Um, also, it's going to be a review of the new resin that I've found. It's also going to be a, a re-review of the cheap pound shop resin and also going to show you how to make it better. Okay, It's a bit of an in-depth video, this, into cheap water effects. All right. So, if you've not seen the pound shop, you know, water effects in use. I'm still going to show you how to use them, but in this video I'm not going to show you how to use them out the packets. I'm going to show you how to thin them down, all right, and make them work a lot like the professional stuff that I'm going to show you as well, all right. If you've seen the river video that I posted up yesterday, uh, the river video was me messing with the new water effects, so I didn't go into any details about where it was, how I use it or anything. It was just literally, I hope this works. <laughs> That's all it was. So this is going to be, now I know what I'm doing with it. I've played with it quite a bit. I now know what I'm doing. All right. So now I'm going to tell you about it, how it works, how to use it, how not to use it. And then I'm going to show you on two little test pieces, which are these lovely little fountains that have uh, been sent. Uh, I, apparently from Home Bargains, they're Airfix 172nd scale water fountains. They were three quid each from Home Bargains. Uh, and a guy posted up on my page saying he's found these. And because I ain't got Home Bargains close enough, he, uh, he, he quite, he, he would, you know, nice enough to send me some. I mean, I paid him for them, but he sent me them as well. So that's why I've got them. I thought they'll, they'll be good for this uh, how-to and they'll be great on a, a Frostgrave board or whatever. All right. So first things is... This is the Pound Shop stuff. You get it from Poundland, I think. Yeah, Poundland. It's a pound, you get 24 grams, all right? Straight out of the tub, works all right. It's not a professional water finish or anything else, but it resembles water quite well. Um, and it's, you know, it's cheap. If you've got a couple of little projects that you're doing, like little bases, or you want to do a little puddle, or a little bit of a swamp, or something like that, it's bang on, all right? It's cheap, you know, it's it's thing. But if you've got any larger projects uh, or you're wanting to do, you know, um, say, I don't know, a river like I did the other day, then you're wanting stuff like this, all right? Because it's more pound for pound, this stuff is eight times better, all right? So say, for example, if, if you bought that for a pound, you get 24 grams. If you were to buy this in the pound shop, you'd get 200, uh, 200 grams for a pound, all right? So that's how much cheaper it is. But I mean, I had to pay 40 pounds to get this. Uh, tin it's like 31 quid but it's like eight nine quid delivery because it's uh well it's been a chemical all right that's with the catalyst as well all right you can buy it in smaller tins so like a more user friendly size would be a liter which is a thousand grams all right so they're about 25 quid with catalyst posted okay so i advise buying a liter buying five liters i mean if you're doing an ocean then awesome but buy a liter all right it's still a lot cheaper 25 quid you're getting a, a thousand grams whereas if you bought woodland scenics or the, all the other hobby products you'd be spending 20 quid and getting 200 grams okay so this is this is why i'm telling you about it all right i know i'm wobbling on i'm quite a bit taking it's quite an in-depth video guys so first off i'm going to take you through how to use this okay because um, I'm just waiting for some acetate from the, uh, for, for the thinning of the uh, pound shop stuff. I'm going to show you how to make it work a lot better and a lot closer to the uh, the polyester casting resin. Just waiting for it to come because I'll have to go out to get me something. <laughs> so I'll get the camera set up. I'll get the scales out and I'll show you how you mix this uh, resin that's not very user friendly. So I'm going to try and make it user friendly for you. All right. Catch you in a sec. Right, guys. So what I've got here is some digital scales uh, and a plastic cup. All right. Um, what you do is you weigh it out. All right, uh, because it comes in such a large tin. Even at Elite, guys, I advise doing this. Um, it just makes it easier. Or if you've got a measuring uh, mug, or you know, it don't have to be scales, but if you've got a weigher, just measuring out. Uh, now I'm going to put 25 grams in, so it's the same as the pound shop stuff. All right. What we got there? 21. 27 that's near enough okie doke and then with the rule of thumb with this stuff that i've found is 100 grams is three grams of catalyst all right so what i what i advise so say for example you're working with 100 grams plus so say 100 grams use three 200 grams use six uh, of catalyst but 
at this size it doesn't overly you know when you're doing very little it doesn't overly matter so I put you know I'll just put two grams in or one gram in and what you do is you just pour that in like that I know it don't look like a lot guys it doesn't need a lot all you have to do then is give it a proper steer and I advise you know stirring this for a good what two minutes okay so I'll just get rid of these okay right so I've even I've even labeled this up look for you so you've got the trade resin and then the pound shop resin so we're going to give this a steer for a good minute or so try not to be overly you know too aggressive with stirring it because you don't want so many bubbles in but the bubbles do come out um, but literally just make sure you get give it a good stir all over it's not gone silver now I like to see it go silver so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put another another gram of uh, catalyst in it there we go it's just I like to see it change color when I first do it um, you don't have to see it's gone like a silvery color there um, and when it does that it just means it's mixed it's the pound shop does it it's just because I'm used to the pound shop one doing it <laughs> I like to see it do it in this but anyway all you've got to do then guys is you pour it and this is how simple this stuff is once you've mixed it okay uh, it finds its own level and everything else so literally I just hope I've got enough just to do like that so that will fill round itself and then I'll just pour a little bit in the top like that and then I'll use a little bit more around here where it's uh, not got yet I'll try not to get any on the reeds or anything like that as well and then that you leave that now for till it sets you've got usually around 20 minutes playing time uh, with it so you can touch it and blow it and do what you want to uh, make it ripple or anything else but you want it quite still obviously with it being uh, a, a, an old fountain okay now I'll get ready with a pound shop one and I'll show you how I'm going to thin it down all right so I'll get set up and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next catch you in a bit right guys now with the pound shop stuff best thing I find to do with this to get it easier is to cut it there okay just get a good cut and get the moles as big as you can all right now with this stuff you've got to work a bit quicker because it dries in six minutes so literally just pump it in like that and what we're going to do then is we're going to get some acetone okay and it's just acetone nail polish remover and i'm going to put about six or seven drops in there okay and then you get your stick get a steering stick and just give it a good steer all right needs a bit more acetone in that put another six or seven in you don't want to go crazy because obviously you don't want it too thin okay because the thinner this is the longer it takes to dry all right so you want it thin enough that you can pour it all right just put a couple more in because it's still not thinning there we go thinning down nice now so when you start feeling it get to the consistent like a nice consistency that's when you're getting it right so I just need a couple more guys um, I think this is just to do with the uh, acetone that I've got because some acetones just seem to water it down quick this one hasn't so it might not have as much acetone in it um, but here we go right so once you've mixed it up you've got it to a nice it's almost it's running quite well just do exactly the same and then just pour it in and it should find its own level a lot better than it does when it's you know in its natural form right so but what with this stuff you get it so it's more or less everywhere it's still a bit thick 
and it's still a bit hard to use um, compared to the other stuff. What you do is you just make sure you pour it in, and you've, like I say, you've got to be quick. Get you know, get you kind of help it, help it out if you have to, um, and then what you do then is you just move it around. And what it'll do is it'll fill in all the gaps and cracks that it needs to. Um, like I say, you've got time to. You can play with it. Like I say, it's not as good, this stuff, compared to the trade stuff, but it does work and it does the job. Okay. Um, you just got to be a bit more forgiving with it. Okay. Like that. All them bubbles that are on the reeds that I've caught with my stick and everything, I'll get out. I'll get out at the end. And literally just any that you've got left just pop it in don't worry about it it'll find its own level and then all you've got to do then guys is leave them to dry but while they're both here i've got some finishing touches all right got a couple of leaves now i got my uh, green stuff world uh, leaf cutter just went into the garden and i just literally cut some leaves all right and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sprinkle a couple of these just around and what they'll do as well these all got start going brown over time because they are actual leaves which is what i want and they'll just float on top i'm just putting a couple in I'm not going to go up mental i just like a couple of like drop foliage so like that like that and it just adds a bit more to it okay i've actually dropped a hell of a lot in that space so i'll get a couple out that's the, that's another good thing with this stuff uh the uh you know the polyester resin is you've got plenty of play time whereas this is going to be going dry in you know in the next couple of minutes so guys on comparison so far you've got your pound shop resin and you've got your trade resin the trade resin is crystal clear all right whereas this resin's got tiny tiny air bubbles in um and it's a bit too thick to tap them out um but it still looks okay when it sets all right so once i've completely dried and set i'll uh, i'll show you the finished uh preview and see what you think guys all right so i'll leave it there and that's how you use them both that's how you thin them down to make them a bit easier to use um so I'll speak to you at the end, catch you a bit. Right guys, so they're both hard to touch. First impressions, as you can see straight off the bat, the trade stuff, this stuff here, is a lot clearer, all right? Um, whereas the pound shop stuff, um, I don't think it's not, well, it's just not as clear. Um, it's got a bit of a cloudiness to it. Um, but if I haven't had seen this, it still looks quite good. I mean, I've used it on like swamp bases and stuff and it looks great for like stagnant still water um but the both work all right do you know what i mean i mean that's a quid and if you've never played with water effects you know you're gonna be more than happy with that um but i'll just move the camera around guys and i'll give you a chat about what i've done as well and i'll show you a bit more so hang on a sec right guys so the uh the trade one all right so as you can see it's got it's really nice, crystal clear. Um, I've put leaves on it and I've even put, I don't know whether it'll come up on camera, but I've even put a bit of just dark green flock just on the surface just to act as, um, you know, like algae and everything else. But it's turned out good, you know, I'm happy with that. And that's, that's I mean, I'm probably going to use this resin all the time now. I probably won't use the pound shop stuff. But the pound shop stuff's a good introduction, all right? Here's a closer up of the pound shop stuff. Okay. As you can see, it's not bad, you know. It still it still works. I mean this is with this is with the uh what do you call it in? Nail polish remover, acetone. Um I should have put maybe a bit more in, but the problem is when I put when I realised I put it in, it went more bubbly. Um which the, some of the bubbles have gone. Uh well majority of the bubbles have gone actually. But I should have really just put it in without thinning it. Um, 
but it did pour a lot easier than it usually does because it's normally quite hard work. But the leaves and everything, all you do is literally just chuck them on, you know, as it's setting and uh, it grabs them. You know, there's no need to seal it, there's no need to varnish it, there's no need to, you know. Um, and, and Mel, uh, the train tutor, I posted a picture of what I was doing as well. He's asked me to leave him at window. All right. Well, he didn't ask me. He said, "Leave him at window and see what see what happens." So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them both in window for a month uh, and see if there's any yellow yellowing from them both. Um, you know, he said to do it. He's interested, so it's a good idea. You know, I mean, people keep asking, "Does resin yellow?" And I've not experienced. I mean, if anybody's seen the waterfall video that I did or the the mountain video that I did, I put a waterfall on that when I first got the pound shop stuff. That's been on my table for you know weeks and weeks and weeks in this room. It's really bright through the day, and that's not started going yellow yet. And that's what six month old. So it, I don't think it will. Um, but we can try. All right, if I expose it to sunlight and see what happens. Um, but if it ruins them, I can get a knife and scrape it out anyway. So we'll we'll get a test and see what happens for you guys. All right, um, but. If you've liked this video, I know it's been a bit in depth with the mixing of resins and amounts and quantities and everything else, but the trade resin to me is so much better. I'm happy that I found the pound shop stuff. It's a nice introduction to water. It gave me, you know, loads of ideas of playing with it and using it. It's a good stepping stone. Plus, you know, you buy it for a quid, and then if you don't like it, you haven't lost out, have you? With the, the other stuff, I have put 40 quid in, but I could have put 25 quid in to try it, but I took a risk, and I'm really happy I did, because I've got loads now, I can do as much as I want, um, and, you know, I'm it, it, well, you've seen the river, and if you haven't seen the river, check that video out, that was me playing with it, I no, had no idea what I was doing, and it turned out great, so now I know a bit more what I'm doing, I just, you know, I just love it, and I, I'm just not going to stop using it, <laughs> so... Um, that's it guys if you've got any questions about the resin that i've used uh, the pound shop stuff or the uh, the trade stuff uh, i'll put links below but, uh, you know where to get them from um and you know if you've got any queries if you're going to buy it yourself or whatever just ask me and if you uh, if you are stuck add luke's aps um hang out some discussions and if you're a bit worried about pouring it on a model you spent ages doing just give me a message and i'll facetime you through it if you want all right, uh, just to make sure that you're not going to ruin your model. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Like I said, if you want to donate, you can donate and I'll send you a bit of something. Um, but keep on doing what you're doing, guys. I can't ask for any more. Thanks a lot. Catch you all later. <laughs>